We're now recording, so watch what you say. Okay. <laughs> well, welcome everyone to another parish family gathering. Uh, I've lost track. I think this is number seven. I think uh, if I if I remember correctly. So uh, glad to have everyone on once again. Was really hoping we'd have more people on, but. Uh, uh, we'll, we, we've got the good ones on. We'll, we'll just call it that. Huh? We'll just say that. Huh? Mm -hmm. So, uh, no, I'm glad, glad all of you could make it, uh, tonight. Uh, we want to, uh, first of all, we want to say, uh, I want Olivia to say something to you as you probably, <laughs> as you probably are aware, Olivia's, uh, uh, gone through two surgeries since the last time we met. So, Libby, you want to say? Well, I just said it all. Well, you just said it to Ronnie and, and, and Kathy. To, they were all on there, okay, except for Rita. But Rita, I'm doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> to sum it all up, I'm doing, I'm doing good. You know, it's going to be a long time before I'm completely well. But uh, and you can tell I'm having a little have trouble breathing, talking for any length of time difficult so um but it'll get better and i'm feeling good and trying to do everything i did before and did they take one of your lungs i thought they were going to i thought that's what they did and then i went to the doctor last week and had an x-ray done there were two lungs there i said wait a minute i, said, I thought they took one of those she said well we took pieces of it so apparently okay. I said, that part that's left does it work and she says, yes, it does. Mm -hmm. I felt better right there. I really have two lungs still. Sure. Oh, that made me feel good. I took another deep breath. I thought, well, this is for the left side, you know. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing good as maybe it was cancer, but gosh, it was like I can't even, I don't even relate to the to the to the cancer movement or anything. I mean, I knew I had cancer for four days before it was eliminated so and it was first stages no spread um just a little bitty teeny dot but that little teeny dot can get big fast yes. and can spread it doesn't even have to get big to spread right. so um that's why they they took it that's it that's my story that's good that's good yeah, yeah no no chemo no, yeah. no nothing like that we the, this, the, the doctor felt he was a surgeon. He was a, the actual surgeon. He felt confident that uh, he could go in and, and get, get that out of there. And, uh, and, and they did take it out, did an immediate autopsy to determine uh, it was malignant, but it, was, uh, it had not spread. So they were able to, to get it all. The so. other weird thing that happened, well, you know, the second surgery was because of this not a mistake, but just a weird thing that happened during the first surgery. A very a rare thing to, to have happen. So then during the second surgery, my heart starts to get a little tired of all of this. So it starts skipping beats. So now I'm on heart medicine, which I didn't even know I had a heart problem until I started looking at these medicines I got home and taking, thinking, and why do I have a a doctor's appointment with this heart specialist so I, I i that's next week i think and i'll talk to them about um the only person that would even talk to me about that in the hospital just said that um my i had been through two surgeries right you know within a week of each other and my heart just got pissed off she said really your heart just got pissed off and said i can't take this so hopefully that is just a trauma from the surgery and I'll only be on this heart medicine for a few months or whatever because I never had a heart problem before but that was the other weird thing you know mm -hmm. couldn't just have a natural surgery I had to have some weird stuff mm -hmm. <laughs> right. right now I'll tell you the older we get <laughs> You just don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, you, you old just people. Keep laughing. Keep laughing. No, you, you old people. 
You old people are people, good. That's no, right. I you just, but uh, now I have good news because my blood work in the spring was really bad. Oh. My liver, and he told me I needed to go for a scan. And of course, I kind of I put it off to June to call for an appointment. I just got it in September, Damn. but my liver count had dropped below half of what it was. I'm no longer on blood pressure medicine. All okay. I take is cholesterol medicine, which I've had high cholesterol forever, and a baby aspirin. Wow. Wow. And I've, lost, I've lost 20 pounds since January. I was going to say you look I can good. tell you look good. Yes. I'm going to tell you something. They told me to get protein drinks for Tom because he was losing so much weight. Well, let me tell you something. Those vanilla protein <laughs> drinks are wonderful. <laughs> he and I weighed the same thing before he died. <laughs> he, was, he started at 215. He came down to 169. I went up to 169. And I drank, there were two protein drinks left. I, I didn't want to waste them. Yeah. So I did drink <laughs> them. But I will never touch another one unless I get down to skin and bone. Like he does. <laughs> so if you don't want to put on any weight, do not drink a protein drink. How many, how many calories are in one of, one of those? Oh, I don't remember too many. I mean, I drink them, but I am skin and bone. Yeah, but, she, yeah, you can you can drink it, but I did start mowing. I've mowed three lawn lawns since March. I've been throw, mowing the neighbor's lawn, my lawn, and Adams. Every five to six days, I have a self-propelled lawnmower. I walk and I just guide. Yeah. So wow, the exercise plus no more protein drinks. <laughs> I I feel pretty good. I well, I guess into some smaller genes and I guess on, on future calls, we could devote part of the call to a health health update, you know, <laughs> on, uh, everybody just talking about their health problems or whatever. Now, well, I won't have any more. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> people talk about all the time. So. I, no, just no, the no. mental problems now. <laughs> Uh -oh, oh, we're not we, we, about we, that. we would have to devote a full program, a full <laughs> meeting to, to the mental right. problems. Right. We, uh, we, so can start, I, we can start with Ronnie and spend the whole. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, Danelda was telling us about Billy Ray. I don't know if you heard that, Reed. Uh -uh, I guess uh -uh. Billy, Billy Ray is not good. Oh, not doing well this week. Yeah. He's uh, had a rough. Uh, uh, week what's yeah. wrong with him well uh, he's 87 gonna be 88 this christmas and he is um he's uh, had a really clear mind up until this past year and and he's you know it comes and goes now yes and uh he is uh quite confused and rattled this week I used the word rattled. She didn't. She, I think she said confused and didn't feel well. Mm -hmm. So they're taking him to the doctor tomorrow, which is that eyebrow raising. Yeah. Yeah. Janelle, do you, uh, I, I've been exchanging emails with Melva, Melva June. Mm -hmm. Do you know Richard's situation? I do. Did, did she tell you? Well, here, here, I'll tell you what, what she told me some time back that he was diagnosed with ALS. ALS, yes. But, but <clears throat> yes, then she his, told me, but that diagnosis got revised. Did you, were you aware of that? He didn't tell me that. I, I, and I, we've talked. I, What's it revised to? Well, I don't know. I, 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 I I hope I'm saying the right thing here. I, I, I apologize if I've misinterpreted this, but I got the impression that it was revised to a lesser severity, uh, uh, whatever well, that might that be. That would be wonderful. Yeah, that, that would, would now, be wonderful. I guess he's, he's on some, some sort of medication, uh, which uh, 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 wasn't settling very well. But uh, beyond that... <laughs> 
I, and, I, and I guess I don't really know the full status of that. But beyond that, his sister just passed away. And, yeah. and he has a niece that's dying of brain cancer. Yeah, she's, she's on her last. You know, is that hours. is that a child Please. of the of the sister that just passed away? Oh no, Pearl is uh, the tier above Richard, so she's oh okay. uh, you know in the eighties or nineties. Oh, uh, wow. This one might be I can't remember whose child she is. Maybe David's, which is right next to D Richard. Oh, all right. And of course, he passed. He passed of cancer years ago. So anyway, I guess uh, uh, Richard's going through some pretty bad times right now. Yes. Do you know? Yes. Do you know anything more that that I, I didn't know there? No, no, and that that kind of shocked me that they've backed off of the ALS. I hope I'm telling so, you the right. I hope I'm saying the well, right. Well. She doesn't talk much about it, so really. they're just being very um, quiet and and enjoying every part of their life they can right now. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. one of the sons took them to Gatlinburg last week, and or maybe two weeks ago, and spent a week up there and did because Richard wanted to go. All right, all right. Did life. We better get to Janet's presentation here. We are. We are. We're, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Right. Um, well, we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk about the next meeting after after uh, Janet does their presentation. So, Janet, yes. are you ready to go? I think so. Uh, we have uh, uh, Janet is doing a presentation tonight. So, uh, oh, you've already got it. Yeah, these kids. There you go. There is. Yeah, it's kind of funny because we are just, our lives are just busy. My husband's aunt that was 97 had died um, a year ago and we procrastinated. And then he got the, he found some people that wanted to rent her house. So we've been doing an estate sale. This is the third day of it. I haven't been over there today, but um, the last three months I've been pulling pictures for this presentation and I had to go, the group I sing with, the, the guy that's uh, that started the group, he was in his eighties, he died of COVID in January and it's his son and daughter and then another lady and myself. And we had to get the pictures taken and Jennifer was putting it all together. So when I came back, she had pulled all these other pictures. <laughs> Fortunately, I had a chance to kind of look to see what she'd put on so I would know where to go from here, but uh, <laughs> Anyway, enough about that. So she did this nice title, whatever. <laughs> Which I would not have done uh, because I don't even know how to do this stuff. All right, so Mira Parrish Jenkins, my dad, Bill Jenkins, as you know. <laughs> okay. Wow, look at that. That was Nera, right? Holy yeah. smokes. Yeah, she's holding dad. And of course, there's Anna Marie and grandpa, Tom. There was dad as a baby and as he, a... He was big as a baby, yeah. wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, he was. And, you know, if you look at his face, he really didn't change that much over the years. <laughs> <laughs> he still looked the same. He <laughs> does. <laughs> Dad's wow. didn't, change, didn't change that much. Um, yeah, some of these pictures that we found in in mom's pictures, I don't, I probably saw them, but I don't really remember them. Yeah. Um, I've but, seen the baby picture, but I hadn't seen the others. Yes, that baby picture mom had on the wall. Um, but yeah, I, I don't remember seeing this one on the right. Jimmy, you got to get that one of grandma and grandpa and them yeah you well, hear me can you hear me the moment? oh i can hear you did <laughs> you? I, and jimmy jimmy you're muted jennifer send me a copy of that would you okay i'll make a note <laughs> all right so i have no idea what kind of car that is but it looks old yeah, I don't know. 
I know either. Ben probably could tell us. I, I was hoping he would come um, because he hasn't made it to any of these, but he was still, he's still over there trying to clear out that house mm. um, and try to figure out what to do with the stuff that didn't sell. Right here. So what you, you got to what what um, what kind of time frame was that? Uh, oh, okay. So dad, oh, how do I go back? <laughs> okay, so dad was born in 1928. Okay. I believe Anna Marie was four and a half years older than him, and I would say he was maybe six months old, but I, that's just a guess. So, so about, about 1928. That picture. About 1928. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. And these are just some of him as a young, young boy. Um, I'm not sure. I know they had different houses when he was growing up where they would take in boarders. I'm thinking this may have been one because there were several pictures with them in front of this house. Um, and this girl's name was Melba and I can't remember her last name. Um, I think she was a friend of dad's and dad, he would tell the story how he would spend the night at her house and the mother would sleep between them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how old he was there, but not preteen for sure. Um, would be my guess. Yeah. For yeah. sure would be my guess. That doesn't seem, <laughs> seem right. All right. And yeah, there's, that may or may not be in front of the same house, but here, here's just some di different pictures. Um, of course, uh, Tom and Nira. And then this is, does anybody know who this is? That looks like uh, Grandpa Sanders. It's, 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 did you say Grandpa? Grandma. So. Yeah, it's, Grandma. it's. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, I wasn't sure if you said grandma or grandpa, but yes, Doshi. I did Sanders, say pa. Who was grandmother Parrish's mother, right? Yes. Really? Yes. Yes. What was her name? I, Doshi. Doshi. Doshi? Well, that's what they called her, but I think it might have been. Um, I looked in the family Bible. Let's see if I've got it on my phone because I think I took a picture of it. But she and her husband. And was her husband? I, I better look before I say what I think. Well, um, now this would have been a Sanders then. Yes, Grand, grandmother Parrish's um, mother. Um, mom. Maiden name was Sanders, so this would have been. See, I've, I've never, I've never seen a picture of that. I, yeah, it's I it's spelt. Mm -hmm. Her mother's name is spelt D O C I A. Okay. But, I've always heard it called Doshi, but I don't know. That may have just been our um, mom's got a bowl. I think that Aunt Stella had given her that had been her uh, her bowl, um, and it was written on there. I think as Doshi, but but she and then her husband Jason Sanders. I wondered, Dale, did you name your son Jason after him? Uh, no. Yeah. Oh. Was it after him? Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> I thought it was. You know, Jason, another Jason. I thought it was. Okay. Yes, yes, we did. Yes, we did, Jen. <laughs> that, was that was good. Well, in the in Mom and Dad's family Bible, it said that both um, Jason Sanders and Doshi Sanders, or Dosh, her maiden name was Cornelius, lived to be ninety three. So. I don't know how old she was there, but I guess dad was probably a teenager. Boy, uh, uh, Tom sure looks dapper in this uh, center picture there, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. He does. Yes, yeah. He does. I can't see, uh, I can't see the uh, picture in the upper right. I know that's Anna Marie's one of them. Uh-huh, and Uncle Ray. Uncle Ray, I, I can't see that picture. Okay. Okay. I, moved it. I don't know if I can move uh, these. Oh, yes, I can. There it is. All right. Then that one too. Oh, oh. Raymond. Raymond. Okay. Uh huh. Uncle Ray. Yeah, that would be Uncle Ray. I see. I well, didn't... To me, but not necessarily to you. Yeah. All right. I've never heard him referred to as Uncle Ray. Um. I'll take that one too, Jennifer. 
<laughs> All right. All right, keep going. These are really great. Good. So um, we'll start with the army. Ah! Um, I, I, you probably heard the story about dad um, quitting high school. I don't know if he advertised that to those that weren't on the scene, but he- No, I, I didn't know he quit high school. He did about two months before graduation. Um, he got in trouble for eating nuts in class and the teacher um, told him he had to get rid of him. And so tell me again, Jennifer. Jennifer remembers this. I, I think she heard it more recently than I did. He took the can of nuts and he just slowly poured it in the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> Made this down. And then he did something with the chair. I think he like maybe put it in back of him and then left and he joined the army. Of course, he got his GED and then went on to college and got his bachelor's right. and master's. Right. But, um, but anyway, that was uh, probably something he didn't tell to his, you know. Now, the story I, the story I heard, I asked him one time to, t to tell me about his army experience. And, uh -huh. and he said, I had a very unusual, I remember him saying, I had a very unusual army experience. Basically, he played football in the army. He played football in the army and he was a cook. But the thing that, and he may have told you this, he never went to basic training. Uh, he said that, I know, I couldn't believe that. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that was very rare and he doesn't know exactly how that happened, but <laughs> I, I wish I had recorded him telling that story, but I guess the higher ups from his unit came to inspect his, whatever they call it. I don't know the military terms and they were supposed to march. Well, nobody had showed him how to march. So he just tried to do what the guy in front of him was doing. <laughs> <laughs> and then whoever that was that was inspecting him, he told his commander or whatever, take take Jenkins and put him in the awkward squad. Well, <laughs> I, guess, I guess once he went to the awkward squad, maybe he learned to march. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, he played football and was a, was a cook. And then the war was over after he'd been in you know, for over a year, and then he got out and became a policeman. How long, how long was he a policeman? Really? Um, do you remember how long dad was a policeman? No, I really don't. Um, he was a policeman one. Okay. So he went into the army. He was, he was 18. He was probably between 19 and 20 when he got out. He was 22 when he and mom started dating. So probably just a few years, um, he was, uh, he had a lot of interesting stories about that too. He had discovered um, some kind of a house of ill repute and he reported it um, and they did a sting. And when they got there, there was nothing there. It ended up that somebody on the police force that was like high up was, it was their thing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they covered and it up. do what they covered it up yeah covered it up cleaned it now, up wasn't he was he was on the wood river police force i think so. yeah. yeah yes yeah, was. it was wood river mm -hmm. now the the story i i was told about bill on this police motorcycle yes have you heard this story where he was chasing somebody on this motorcycle and uh, fell off of it. And the guy he was chasing came back and, and helped him up helped him back <laughs> on the motorcycle. I, I, he was chasing somebody on the motorcycle and dad fell off of it. And the guy came back and helped him up. <laughs> now, that's the story I was told. Uh -huh. Well, that's very likely. Now, I do remember him saying that he was a motorcycle cop, but he had like wrecked a couple and so maybe that was one that he wrecked and then they put it back in a car <laughs> oh really okay you, know, you fall off of those things they don't they don't do well <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i would think that would not be a good thing to happen yeah. <laughs> oh goodness all right so oh let me go back oh never mind <laughs> so so when mom and dad met this question no. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, so so now we're gonna play a little game of guess who. 
which I know these this first page is going to be probably well probably they'll all be easy for you and I think I know who they all are and we'll just see if you do so Tom Tom where's yeah. Tom? Raymond that's Raymond where yeah. are where Follow her cursor. Joyce and Anna Marie. Okay. Yeah. Who's the baby on there? Joyce. Jo Is that Anna Marie? Or yeah. Yeah, I guess Anna Marie. Oh, and Joyce. Joyce and Anna Marie. Okay. And then Tom down at the bottom. That's Tommy. Uh, yep. Who was uh, this far left one? Who was that? Who was that other kid? In? I, I think that was probably a friend of his, but I don't know. That's just okay. what I always thought. But all right. Does anybody know him? Uh uh. Okay, yeah, we'll say he was a friend. Probably somebody in the neighborhood that thought it was cool he had a police car in the yard. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's Billy Joe and Melva. Okay. And of course, here's Granddaddy Parish and Grandmother Parish. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. I lost the screen. How do I get it back? Um, okay, I have it. Oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> that's Ophelia. Oh yeah. Yeah. And that's uh that looks like Billy Ray and Mel Dan, maybe? That's Ophelia. No. Is that Billy Ray yep. and Mel Dan? Yep, it sure it, is. Is it Mel Dan? See, I was thinking it was probably Ophelia too, but just because she was with Billy Ray, but it could have been Mel Dan. Uh, and, that's, I that's, think that's Mel Virginia Dan. and Beverly, I would think. That's right. Is it? Uh-huh. Okay. Most, most of them were written on, but there were a couple where the pages had gotten folded, and I guess it, that part of the paper, I think it used to be in a scrapbook, so I wasn't, wasn't positive on these. Okay, here's some more. That's uh, Robert, Ines, Billy Joe, and I guess... Nero? No. Is that, I guess, um, Mel Ann, I guess. Bever huh? Beverly? I was thinking Mel Ann, just, I guess, because she was on Hannah Annis's lap. Yeah. But I guess that was before Carl yeah. Robert. Yeah. yeah, I bet so, before Carl Robert. All right, what about this one? This one's harder to see. That's Billy Ray, Ruby. That's mother, yeah. Michael, yeah. I see Michael's face. And Melva. Think that, that's Michael never, and, and Melva. Michael and Melva. I am never in any picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so is this is this is Michael the baby? Yes. Okay. Well, I know I've got a picture of you, but I don't think it made it to this. I think it was from when you were in fifth grade. Oh, that's a bad one. <laughs> Well, maybe it wasn't fifth grade because I thought it was a good one. <laughs> Aww. All right. Now that's Billy Joel, I guess, Mel Dan and, and Carl Robert. That's what I was thinking. I think so. Okay, now that's Tom, <laughs> Tom, and wow. Is is that a family member? I if, I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure where that. Was that picture on one of those scrapbook pages? I think so. Okay. Well, we'll just figure we couldn't guess who that one was. I, it may not be. Maybe at one point, of course, you know, if I could enlarge it, um, I wondered if it was dad before he gained his height because he was like five. Grandpa was five, six foot three, and dad was 5'11, I think, when he went into the service. Oh, you know, oh, you think that might be Bill then? Huh? Oh, okay. Well, it might be. I don't, I don't know. Be. You know, it does kind of look like him. Yeah, it does. I, that's probably it. That probably is him. That it, probably, it that would be. make sense. That would make sense. Well, I think Jennifer's actually the one that came up with that idea. <laughs> so he grew after he was in the military? He grew yeah. five inches the really little over a year that he was in. And then when he got out, he was six, four, and then grew another inch when he was in the police force oh my god really huh yeah <laughs> mutual, i think he was a late bloomer yeah huh. <laughs> oh so oh so. look at that beauty <laughs> hey, Alan. yeah that, yes a few miles away mom was a little girl when dad was a little boy and then 
This is, was this when you were modeling? This is when, no. You were in a beauty pageant. Yeah. Uh, and she pretty. Very pretty. Yeah. And skinny, holy smoke. Yes, I know. She is, and of course, here's their wedding. Oh yes, and um, y'all, I know, I know, some of you have heard the story about the proposal, but um, mom and dad, they had just dated a couple of months, I think, when he proposed, and they went to the river, and dad told her that he um, told his mom the night before that he was either going to ask her to marry him or throw her in the river. <laughs> <laughs> and she said something to the effect that she sure hoped it was, it was uh, the first one because she, did not, she was afraid of the water. <laughs> so he, he went ahead and asked her to marry him. <laughs> Okay, now this is Tommy and the, and 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 Joyce. Uh -huh. and, and who's who's this? This is Carla Jean McDonald. That's Carla Jean. McDonald. That's what's your name's um, daughter? Regina. Regina's daughter, right? Yes. Oh, oh, Carl, Carla Jean. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Yes, and well, Carla I... Jean had sent me a picture of this uh, dress that she had on. I think I'm not sure. I think. Joyce's dress was blue and Carla Jean's was kind of a fuchsia colored and she said she still has it and she was going to tell her daughter that when something happened to her to send it to me. <laughs> oh, anyway. <clears throat> now this would have been in 1950 what? 1951. <clears throat> 1951. Mm -hmm. Now who are these, uh, who, who were the uh, uh, groomsmen? Okay, well, these men, if I remember right, they're the ones that had the right color of suit, right? They <laughs> 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 had the right color of, of suit. Ties. Oh, right. Okay, had ties. Had ties. <laughs> <laughs> they all had blue suits. Okay, a blue suit and a tie. Do you remember who they are? They're probably written in your album. Well, that's okay. I, I didn't know if we knew any of them. Or... Yeah, uh, probably just people in the community. I know Dottie Lemons was one of moms. I'm not sure which one. And Joyce Snow, wasn't she one of your friends? Oh, no, she wasn't. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> but they're not, not family. They and, and this was at Calvary in the original auditorium. And Oh, uh, yeah. Do you remember Brother Martin, Dale? Yeah. Curtis Martin. Yes, I yes I do. I I, uh, <clears throat> I remember him from Kentucky. Quite honestly, I, uh, uh, I I know he was at Calvary while when I was young, but I don't remember him at Calvary per se. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know at what age, but yeah, back, back in fifty one anyway. Yeah. All right. Okay, so this was this were the honeymooners. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, funny story with their honeymoon, they had decided that they were going to go. They saved their money. They were going to go to K Kentucky to Mammoth Cave, and they you spent your wedding night at Grandmother and Granddaddy Parishes, right? Or was it coming back from Mammoth Cave? I don't know. It was somewhere. It was. It was one of those. It may have not been the. They may have stayed in a motel the first night, but they ended up spending the night at Grandma and Granddaddy Parishes. But they got to Mammoth Cave coming from Alton and found out it was going to be seven, however many dollars to get in, and they decided they didn't want to spend their money that way. So that's. I think that's what they <laughs> back to Grandma and Granddaddy Parishes. They were on a budget. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Looks like they found a porch. Yeah. It does. It does. Maybe that's where they stayed. I don't. I don't know. And we. I think this was their honeymoon. It was the right date. I mean, it wasn't like February, but it looked like a honeymoon picture. So we said it was. We we made this up as we went. Okay. All right. And of course, Dad and Anna Marie, um, you know, have always been uh, had a lot of contact through the years and we're close and um 
all four of Anna Marie's kids, which of course Jimmy's not here yet. Um, you know, dad spent a lot of time with them, but of course Tom and Joyce and Ron, and then this was Mark. Oh, okay. All Mark, right. Dad's oldest. Yes. Yes. And um, here's Mark and Ronnie. Yeah. Yeah. And then over here, you can see um, Anna Marie and Raymond. Raymond's holding Ronnie, Ronnie I guess, and Joyce, Tom, mom and dad and Mark. Mm -hmm. And was that your house on, was that at your house, Ronnie and Jim? Was that the one on Jackson? No, the, that'd be the one on Badley. Oh, that'd be the one on Badley. Oh, okay. Okay. That was a, across the street from uh, Tom and Nair's house, right? Yeah. Well, it was just down the, uh, when you turned at that stop sign, you go down the hill. Right. It was on the right, and then you go on up the hill, and then right, then Grandma and Grandpa's was on the up on right. the right. Yeah. And then, Janet, your mom and dad lived on the opposite side of the street at one time, but I don't know how long it was, you know. Right. But. Um, well, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I'm, I'm thinking this house is the one that was on the opposite side of the street from Tom and Near. Uh, no? I thought it was a White House. But, I mean, that where they lived. When I when I came out of the picture, it was white over there. Oh, really? And, I, and, and the one down where Anna Marie and Raymond lived looked some, something like this. It was kind of like a... It had that green siding stuff on the house yeah yeah but it may not be it may be someone else's house i don't know yeah i'm not sure i think they mom and dad showed me that house that both of, but you know i didn't have a sidewalk going around like this so this was someone else's house okay could have been could be okay yeah. all right so as y'all know that uh mom and dad I think you do. Mom and dad had a head on collision in 1956 and um, a drunk, uh, not a drunk driver, a man had a heart attack and crossed the line. It was in Lebanon, Illinois, and mom was six months pregnant with me. Um, of course, it was the before the days of seatbelts, at least. Yeah, I don't think they had any. Dad, <laughs> here he is after the wreck. He had been in traction. Um, at that time, he had had a blood clot. They had called the priest in to do the last rites. He had, it was Catholic hospital. Um, he, had had <laughs> a, he, had, he had had a blood clot that had gone through his heart. Oh. And um, Mark was in the back seat and he was, he was not hurt at, at all. Um, probably shaken up, but mom had a broken wrist <laughs> or arm and a broken leg, but yeah, I remember, I remember that very well. I remember uh, that very well. Yes, I don't, but yeah. it's probably. <laughs> yeah. I, I, rem I remember the, the, the to-do that, that uh, the family went through. I, I didn't, I don't recall seeing any of these. Uh, of course, of course uh, I guess Bill was in a hospital down in Lebanon or, or in where the accident occurred, right? I'm not really sure what hospital dad was at was there a hospital in lebanon or did he did they bring him back to i don't know don't remember been too long ago yeah yeah um i never but even thought about that i remember i i remember the accident yep mm -hmm. i certainly do yeah and i don't i don't remember i'm sure i heard but i don't remember where they were coming from or where they were going alton may have been in there somewhere but at that point seems to me like they, they were coming from uh southern illinois to alton uh i don't yeah. southern illinois to alton yeah, it may have been when he was in yeah it was probably maybe but he in carbondale in school that's what i'm wondering i bet i bet it was one way or the other i bet you're right i bet that's right no now now bill bill didn't go to carbondale did he i thought he went to shirtlift there in alton he 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 graduated from SIU in Carbondale. Oh, he did. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yes. Now, I don't know if he ever went to shirt look before or not. I don't, I don't remember him saying that. I, I, I remember I remember him saying that or somebody said that now may, maybe he maybe he started at shirtliff or but, he may have and then transferred but he he I, I clearly remember being told that he attended shirtliff there in uh, Alton okay some period of time so uh -huh. anyway yeah very well could be he was hard to keep up with he got around <laughs> All right, and so these are just some um, pictures of the four of us. This was uh, taken the um, in December before Mark fell on it. Well, the December that Mark fell on the bicycle, oh. and um, probably probably you most of you will remember. I'm not sure Nelda may have heard this too. Um, Tom and Rita had come to Texas. Dad was pastoring in Texas and had come to Texas, and then I think they were going to, I'm not sure why they came, but they were going to ride back. I think they were riding back in the car. Oh, Joyce, Joyce and Tom went down, from what I was told, they went down on the bus to your mom and dad's. Then they were going to ride they back. They stayed the week after Christmas, and he rode the bike. After they got back to the house, he rode the bike to show them what he got for Christmas, and that's when he fell. And, and he had they, just learned all, they all drove, they brought uh, Tom and Joyce back to Illinois and then they ended up putting him in the hospital. Uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah, he just learned to ride his bike without training wheels mm -hmm. and it was gravel that he's um, yeah. on. and I am pretty sure that this was once we got to Illinois so he had fallen but hadn't made it to the hospital yet. Right, right. And so I, I know he passed but did he pass from a head injury? He, he had burst. His pancreas had burst when the it was a freak accident. When he fell, the handlebars hit his stomach, but it didn't break the skin. Gotcha. But it gotcha. did internal damage, and the pancreas, the acid from that, um, splattered on his heart. And mm -hmm. between the two, and a friend of ours that was a doctor said, you know, at that time they wouldn't have known what to do if they had even known what so, it was. But um, dad took him to the doctor right after and they just thought it was a coincidence. And then he had a stomach virus and, you know, said for us to go on to Illinois. Um, but, you know, he, he just, it, whenever he would eat, he would be in pain. And I guess even sometimes when he didn't, but um, I, lo I love this picture seeing grandma and grandpa's kitchen. That's what I thought. That I, was was. Gonna, I was gonna say that's Tom and Nair's uh, kitchen. Uh-huh. There was an orange cookie jar that I always like to get into, and I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they got that later. <laughs> All right. Look at those pants turned up. I know. I, I guess that so we could wear them longer. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Look at this. Now, this was, um, yes, this was, I, I guess this was in Gainesville, and this was oh. after, after, after Mark's funeral. Well, no, we had the funeral in, I guess it was Illinois because we had the funeral in Illinois. Yeah. <laughs> but y'all see, you'd recognize everybody? My we goodness. Do. I don't know. That's Aunt Stella Aunt over Stella, here to the right. Aunt Marie Raymond. Um, Dale, Dale, is that you? That's me. That's me. And that's David in I the think, background. Yes, that's oh, David peeking out. And that looks like Todd Taylor back there. That's what I thought. That's I what I this, thought. I think this is Mavis over here, but I could be wrong. Right. I, I would agree. Yeah, I think that's, so. Next Aunt Stella. Dad, Mom um, and Dad there. Yep. Yeah. So this would have been in Tom and Nearer's living room, probably, huh? I think so. Yeah. I, that's her chairs. That's the chairs to her dining. Uh -huh. She had that there by the door. Didn't she to the kitchen? The table and chairs? Yep. Maybe. Joe. I think so. Mm -hmm. Jenkins. Yes. Yes. And then this is the baby David Joel Jenkins that was born after uh, Mark had died. Oh, I didn't know this. Uh -huh. And he was he was buried at um um down in Texas, right? 
He is buried in Texas. Texas, yeah. Okay. And David, David's out at Valhalla. Back, yeah. back, back up now. Now, whose baby is this? This is this was mom and dad's baby. Um, I did. So Mark died in 1960 in January, and this was in 1961. Oh, and I did. I that looks like a full term baby. It was. It was. She she had her other babies. But first, and this one came head first, and she didn't open up right. Oh. And it was open up right to have them. Head and he had, a really, he had dad's big head, oh. um, but he had a brain hemorrhage. Yeah, um, he had damaged his brain. Wow, well, I had forgotten all about this. Yeah. Now, he wasn't he born before uh, Ronnie, or was it Ronnie was born? Or was it? Or no, what? Mark and I were the same age. Huh? Mark and I were the same age. Oh, okay, okay. That's what. Okay, that's what I. I'm getting them confused. Yeah. 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 Oh. So. Okay. So 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 th this this baby was after Mark had had died. The yeah. next year. Yes, the next year. So they tried. And they then tried. They to adopted. Have... Then they adopted. Um, Mike. Mike in September. Uh huh. Yeah. After this was when this like was this June June. Yes, and then they adopted Mike. Mm -hmm. In June, uh, well, when David died, they the doctor told mom and dad that they shouldn't try to have any more because she was Rh negative, and back then they didn't, mm -hmm. you know, they didn't have the shot they have now to take care of that. But um, then we were blessed to get Mike shortly. So after. this this picture here would have been in 1960, you think? 61. 61? Uh, no, oh, this picture of everybody here is 60. 60. Mark, Mark died in January of 1960, and David uh, was born in June of uh, 61. Wow. These are great pictures, Janet. I, I, I've never seen uh, any of these pictures. Oh, these good. are really great. Well, thank you. I, there, you know, some of them I pulled out and I think, I think maybe that somebody else has shared some of these, but I don't know. I never, one. I never seen these. Okay, good. I mean. Yeah, I'm glad you're sharing them with us. I really am. Yeah, Thank yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, um, and here is um, my, Mike. He was a big boy. Oh my gosh. I think he's a month old there. Oh my but, gosh, he's a big baby. And Jimmy and, and Mike, Jimmy and Mike on the side picture. Both sides, yes. Oh, and have that doll cradle, in case you oh couldn't tell. I mean, he was big, but I need I need the one of me and Mike, Jennifer. Huh? I need the one of me and Mike. Okay. That's okay. Jim, that's Jimmy there on the right on the picture on the right. Yeah, that's that's Jimmy and Mike. Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, here's Jimmy, Jimmy, and then he, on the left he's here. If you can see now, that. If, if you all notice in the picture down there on the right, Jimmy's holding a doll, baby. Yeah. <laughs> doll, I saw that. A they doll. Both are. <laughs> they both have dolls. Yeah, they both do, don't they? Those must be yours, Aww. Janet. They may be. Your baby's sitting and you gave it to them to play with. Probably, yes. Y'all play, y'all play and leave me alone. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I'm not sure, is that our house or? I'm looking at this end table. Could that be, I don't know if that could be Grandma and Grandpa Jenkins. That's what or, I was, that's what I was thinking. It might be their house. It might be. Yeah. If I could see this table a little clearer, I could tell because they always had that. Well, and she have her, didn't she have her couch kind of catty cornered? And then there was a picture window over on the other side of the, uh, that table. Uh-huh. Yeah. In the front of the house. Yes. All right. So we're going, we're transitioning from black and white to color. Uh-huh. <laughs> pictures. And I don't know when this date was. I don't really remember this picture, but it was in the pictures when we were looking sometime over the last two or three months. And then I think this was taken in the late 60s. Yes. Always like that picture of them, and they look very happy here. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this the, the other picture was the church directory. That's I, what I was wondering. I started to say yeah. that and I wasn't sure. Yeah, I think that would have been in 66. Okay. Now now Tom Tom and Near were were founders of Calvary Baptist Church, right? Right. Charter members, yeah. What, what did I what was the term? Charter members? Yes. They were members when it started. Yeah, when it was a tent. Huh? They were they were members when it was when Calvary was a tent on that property. Really? Oh, it was a, oh a tent, really. I never yeah, thought that's how they now was was Reverend Martin then the first pastor at Calvary? Is that his? Um, do you, I, I remember. Do you, Janet? I don't. Do you remember who? Well, you weren't there either. You that was before. You. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think didn't they meet in didn't they meet in another old older church building when they first started, and then I and then went to where Calvary is now and did what they do set up a tent before they start the building process. Boy, Greg Paul always said that they started Calvary in a tent on that property. Oh, okay. Now he um, could have been lying to me, but you know, that's what he Now who told you that, Ronnie? Grandpa, Tom. Okay. Uh, yeah, I doubt that it was I don't know who W. O. Shields was, but I think he was something at the church. Does that name sound familiar to y'all? Wow. Yeah. Brother Martin, I only heard about him there at Calvary there on Washington. Now, I don't know before that. I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking it wasn't him. I know um, dad was six months old when the church started. So so I think they probably would have had someone else at that point, but I, I don't know. Oh, who would, I so what, what date would that have been? 1928. 1928 when Calvary was started? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. So y'all know, y'all may or may not know, dad, of course, he surrendered to the ministry. I, uh, did he surrender to the ministry before y'all married? Or he was fighting the call. He never really. Before. Before. Um before they married he surrendered to the ministry um but he pastored churches in illinois texas new hampshire and hawaii um and this this was um the church i mean i guess this is where we lived because it has our pictures on the wall in texas but this is the church he pastored in Car uh, gainesville texas which is where we lived when Mark died, David died, and we adopted Mike. So it was real special um, to the family because they'd gone through so much uh, personal trauma while they were there. And then you lived in, in Gainesville, Texas, when you adopted Mike, when they uh -huh. adopted? Yes. Why didn't you? I'm getting, I thought you lived in Carlinville when. No, we moved there when um, we moved there. We went. Okay, so dad was going to Southwestern Seminary and he worked just, I don't know where he worked, but he was trying to, you know, there were a lot of people in seminary that wanted preaching jobs. And so he would fill in sometimes, but this church in Gainesville was looking for a pastor while he was in seminary. So he pastored there starting out while he finished seminary. And then, um, of course, they called him to pastor. I think he had another year of seminary to go where he would commute and then he stayed there for two more years. Well, you know, after he'd gotten his degree, but we moved to Carlinville. Okay. So I was six when we left here and moved to Palestine, Texas, um, which is where this picture was taken. And then we moved from Palestine to, to Carlinville. I was in second grade. So. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I know we're, are, you we're getting, part of, are you getting confused because of uh, Mark being buried in Illinois? Because I think they came back from Texas to Illinois, and that's when Mark got sick. I remember right. that so, somehow I, I related Mike coming on the scene when they were in Carlinville, but evidently that was Mike was adopted before. Yes, yes, he was two days old, and um, 
we really, um, it was really neat how it happened, especially when you think of how hard it is to adopt children today. Yeah. But David died in June and we got Mike in September, just two and a half months later. Yeah. That just yeah. doesn't happen. Mm -mm. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So this is Palestine and we were there 15 months before we went to Carlinville and these, um, I think Jennifer maybe put this together, but these are just some pictures that we had out, but they're from Tom and Rita's wedding. I'm sorry that we didn't mm -hmm. include the bridal party or the, That's uh, okay. the bride and groom, but, um, and this is Rita's niece. That was the flower girl. Oh, okay. And Mike, right? And, uh, and Mike. And then. Janet, they didn't, they didn't have you do anything in the wedding? Oh, yes. Did you not see my dress? <laughs> she was in some other pictures. Yes. Okay. I was um, at the guest book, I believe. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I had to have been because I had a new dress and I wouldn't have just, yeah, I was, I was. So let's see, when Tom and Rita got married, this would have been about 1940. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what year did you think? Ow. 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 Listen, I'm Tom and I met 55 years ago, last June. Mm. I decided to stay down here and go to school. I mean, I was going to school at SIU, and that summer I told my mother I was going to stay here and work so I could make some money. Well, I went to work at J.C. Penney on a Friday or Saturday, and I met Anna Marie, and we were talking. Told her I, I had visited Calvary Baptist. She talked. She talked to Todd on Sunday. Yeah, he knew who I was. She told me she had a son. It did not sink in. <laughs> <laughs> and on Monday evening. I don't know if you remember J.C. Penney in the back was all the uh, curtains and material and all that at the back door. Well, I worked at the register. I can still remember seeing him come in in his short sleeve blue dress shirt, his blue tie, his pants. I saw him walk over to his mother, still didn't sink in. <laughs> Pretty soon she brought him up to the register and introduced us and I thought, he thinks he's God's gift to women. I <laughs> Sending back to God. <laughs> five months later, he was my gift. Oh. So we made four, all, little, not quite 54 and a half years. And last fall, I said to him, I said, you think we can make another year? And he kind of perked up and then he kind of. Yeah. You know, you know, I, I knew, you know, but I just thought, well, I'll see, you know, but I feel we felt very blessed. My, well, they, Dale, your brother didn't make 50 years. My sister didn't make 50 years. My brother didn't make 50 years. They died when they were 62 and 64. Tom and I felt very blessed that we made it over 50 years, you know, and um, that was the one thing that we talked about there at the last was how blessed we had been. And we were talking one day and I said, well, you know, all, we talk about ups and downs in life. Our ups are our blessings, our downs are our lessons. Mm. And um, we felt, we just felt very, very blessed, you know. And well, yesterday, yesterday was our 56th wedding anniversary. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Wow. Yay. Happy yep. anniversary. 50, 56, 1965. And you were married in 66, Rita? Uh -huh, in November. Yeah. What month were you? I'd say uh, September. September you were married. Okay. Okay. September Joyce, Now, Joyce was married the year before us, but I don't know what month. To Bill Miller? Bill Miller. Yeah, I don't uh Don't know if they were Ronnie, married Ronnie, do you remember that? Or Ronnie or Jimmy, do you remember uh, that? I don't remember what month it was. Yeah. Uh, no. I was only that tall. <laughs> yeah, he was only about four, maybe three or four. So. All right. Okay. okay.
All right. So then we went to New Hampshire from Carlinville. And uh, <laughs> anybody that came when there was snow, we had to get a picture of them where it looked like they were shoveling snow. I don't know if Grandma Jenkins really. <laughs> no, I don't think she, I don't think she did. <laughs> <laughs> Not if she could help it, probably. <laughs> oh, funny. Uh, this was, um, I think this was probably 60, 76 or 77, both of these pictures. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, uh, dad and Anne Marie, you know, always had a close relationship and we had the, in New Hampshire, we had the Christian coffee house. And of course I thought of the picture, all the pictures I could picture in my mind of the two of them together and I couldn't find any of them. So I just did with what I had, but, um, dad, dad had a passion for, uh, telling people about Jesus. And, um, when he died, you know, we talked about how he, he loved people and he, um, of course, loved the Lord, and he, uh, even the morning that he died, he prayed with somebody there at Saddlebrook, um, so he, right till the end, um, but this was just back in the days of the hippies, we had this Christian coffee house, and Anna Marie would come in, the, it was open 10 summers, and nine of those summers, she would come and spend the summer, and she was the house mother to the people that worked there, that's her over on the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see her there. There's Jim, Jim Weidman right there in the, uh, the middle. Yeah, right there's Jim uh -huh. Weidman. And his, and his this, wife. This guy followed dad as pastor at the church that dad pastored in New Hampshire. And he married this girl um, that was also on staff. I, don't, I can't remember if they knew each other before or not, but. But anyway, that was always. Do you, know, do you know who he is um, getting ready to baptize there? I'm pretty okay. sure it, it looks like Roland, but. That's but what I thought. That's what I thought. It looked it, like I, it's Don Tree. Do you remember him? Who? Yep. Don Tree. The name sounds familiar. Uh, he had a, he was, I don't know how old he was, but he had a young girlfriend that was my age. I think she was 15 and he was probably 30. Mm -hmm. um, but I, and they may have just been friends or it may have started out at that but um but yeah I had to well Jim Weidman I'd posted that picture on Facebook and he's like is that rolling and I'd already thought that myself and there's yeah, that's what I thought there's Lee, Lee Colson Lee, yeah that's Lee uh-huh yeah sure enough mm -hmm. was, was this a lake or a river it was the ocean oh really? oh the ocean. it was right on the ocean it the building was just right across the street from the ocean Oh, okay. And and these were these people were saved, and now um, Roland has died. Has Lee died? Lee died of cancer. Yes, this was the line to uh, be baptized. Of baptized. Uh, our church up there did not have a baptistry, and of course, the ocean the temperature is like sixty six or sixty seven in the summer. So we only did that in the summer, and it was still cold. Um, and but, that's when the coffee house was open during the summer. Yes, for 10 weeks during the summer. Um, and of course, Jimmy was there every summer. Ronnie worked there. Was it one summer or two summers, Ron? It was two. I think just two. Okay. And um, and yeah. I, I guess Jim was there nine. And then Tom and Rita, did y'all, Rita, did you and Tom work in the? Uh, Tom, well, see, I had, uh, we moved there, I think, 71, 72. Aaron was born in 73, and then we met these this couple from Texas. He was in the Air Force, and he'd go TDY, and they had a, a little boy a year younger than Aaron, so uh, Beth and I would take care of the boys at my apartment, and uh, mm -hmm. her husband, Merrill, and Tom would go down and work the food thing on Sunday nights down um, every sunday night they would go down and work down there yeah and um <clears throat> we have good memories from up there mm -hmm. i remember yeah. i used to have a pair of pants like this guy's got on here on, on the upper right hand corner there the striped ones oh the striped. <laughs> yeah yeah i used to have a pair of pants just like those That's rolling i never saw them you know that was before your time i think well no it wouldn't have been before your time yes you uh, never mind. Sure. Never I mind. Go ahead. <laughs> Maybe they were yours. <laughs> yeah. They were my <laughs> All right. Okay. So moving on along, mom and dad went to Hawaii after that. And 
Jim and uh, Mike went with them. I need that picture on the bottom right, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to send those all to me on a larger format in, in an email. I will. <laughs> She'll know what to do. Um, well, I'm sure I have no doubt. <laughs> and this is uh, Grandma Jenkins in her later years. This, I think this is your uh, Anne-Marie and Raymond's 40th wedding anniversary. Is that right? Yeah, either 40, right. 45th. Was it 40th or 45th? I can't remember. 40th. 40th. I was saying it was the 40th. <clears throat> okay. And I'm not sure when this was, but sometime in her later years, I would say. I would say she was probably already in the nursing home. She that's, may have been. And she was she in the nursing probably. home about 10 years, I think. Yes. And this one had a date on it. I, I think it was this one. And it was 70, either 78. I think it was 79. It was either 78 or 79, which I think was the year she went. I think she went to the nursing home in 70. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. But she was there for... Well, the one one year we came home for Christmas. We were in New Hampshire, and the one year we came home for Christmas, she was in the nursing home, and she was Anne Marie had her there all day. And when it was time to go to the car, she couldn't walk. And Tom said, "Grandma, I think you carried me a lot when I was a baby." He says, "I believe I can carry you to the car." He picked her up in his arms. She put her arms around his neck and smiled from Ooh. ear to ear. He carried her out and set her in the front seat of the car. Oh. And that's the first time I realized how good he was with old people. Because mm -hmm. he, he, really, he really did love her. Yes. When I was in college at Washita, I would go to Illinois um, and stay with her sometimes on my breaks. And I know one year, she was living on that house that belonged to Mary. Yeah, I know. And she had gone out, I think, to check the mail, and she fell on the porch. Well, she got tickled, and I did. And the harder we laughed, the hard we got her. I got her. I guess I got her up, um, but it took a long time because we were both laughing so far. Big memories. Yeah. All right. So time time goes on, and um, here's. Mom and dad's oldest grandchild or the first grandchild, that's Jacqueline. Um, um, and just some pictures uh, of her with different family members. And I guess she's not going to make it on this call. Uh, <laughs> I'm here. Oh, you are here? Oh, did you just yes, show up? Yay. I've been here. Oh, I don't know. Ask Jennifer how long I've oh, been here. I don't know. Well, I thought that. I thought, well, that's really odd if you just showed up when yeah, your <laughs> video's turned off. She's got her video turned off. Yeah. You were trying you to want it, you want it to be turned off and the sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your kids? Yes. Okay, no. so then um the second grandchild, Mike's uh, oldest son, Josh, um, is here with Jacqueline. And and then Jake, the younger son, um, and there's mom and dad with their three grandchildren at the time. And like you, Donelda, Jennifer isn't in a lot of these pictures, but we make up for it later. We, <laughs> we take a lot of they pictures. never made up. They never made up for it with me. <laughs> well, and cameras weren't probably used as much as they are now. Um, well, they said the camera broke. Oh, is that what they said? <laughs> That was her excuse. Uh, <laughs> um, we, when we go to Alton, if, if there's any kids, we always take pictures with Robert Wadlow. So there's Jacqueline and Josh. And when we were in Alton for Tom's memorial service, we had to get Lexi. She was saying, um, going there, she said, are we going to stay for the funeral? She said, I think they're kind of boring. And um, we told her that this one would probably not be boring, and it really yeah. wasn't. But, uh, <laughs> there was some humor, wasn't there? <laughs> there? There was. But I told her that when it was over, we would take her to see that there was a giant that was from Alton, and she thought I was making it up, I think. But she really, she was fascinated with it, so. Well, your mom, your dad, and Anna Marie told me that when they were growing up, they were afraid of him. 
and they would cross the street so they didn't have to be near him. Uh -huh, I don't yeah. know they were afraid he would fall on them or what, you uh -huh. know. Yeah. And, um, so uh, I always thought that was they grew up with him in the area, you know. Right. Yeah, that's pretty neat. All right, and here is Anne and my wedding. Uh, we got married in 1998. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, never mind. <laughs> it, it was it was a short courtship too, so I always get confused. Of, I mean, I always have to stop and think. We started dating the end of December and then got married in May of 97 and then got married in 98. Um, oh, that sounds like Lane and May. Does it? Yes. Yeah, quick. Mm -hmm. This Van's son, RD, this, he was 19 or, yeah, he was 19 at the time, but, um, or maybe 20, I don't know. Oh, 18, who was 18? He went there. <laughs> okay, well, he was a teenager. Um, <laughs> and he now lives in California. And when Van and I got married, we went and talked to mom and dad. Maybe it was, yeah, I think we were already married. And we told him that we were thinking about maybe having another baby. What do you think of that? And my dad said, you want my honest opinion on that and I said we said yes and he said I think you're crazy <laughs> <laughs> because uh RD was 19 when Jennifer was born I, I can't think to see what he was when I found out I was pregnant but um and and Jacqueline was 15 or 14 um 15 and a half when Jennifer was born um, but anyway, so here, here we are, uh, but dad, after Jennifer came along, dad told us over and over, he was so glad he didn't listen to us. <laughs> yeah. He didn't listen to him. Yeah. She's yeah, a beautiful he found, he baby. Found, he found out what a blessing she was. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and Jennifer's kind of an old. She looks like a doll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. She's kind of an old soul. She. You know, of course, her siblings were practically grown when she came along, or not really practically grown, but they thought they were. Um, and then, you know, she hung out with her. Her Van's mom was six or eight years older than grandmother and mom and dad, and so she was just used to hanging out with older people. Mm -hmm. Janet, Janet, may I ask how old were you when you had? Oh yes, you may. I um, I was forty three. I turned, really? she was two months old when I turned 44. Wow. Wow. We both had, you know, had wanted his, you know, wanted another child and um, we decided we would give it a year and we. So what was, was that mainly why, why the purpose for your dad's response uh, what was because yeah. of your age? Yes. And the fact that we the were. The age, yes. Yeah. That, that our other kids were, you know. Right. Right. Potty yeah. train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. I didn't know. Oh, wow. That's I can relate. Yeah. You're Stephen, huh? Yep. Were, right? were you, did the doctors, uh, were they concerned at all about you? Uh? Not at all. No. And, um, my doctor, he said, you know, he, he recommended an amniocentesis. And I said, well, I would not have an abortion regardless and he said well I understand okay. that and he said um but if there is a problem he said most likely you're there's not going to be a problem because I think I think down syndrome maybe with my age there was a 90 percent chance that it wouldn't be down syndrome what really but he, okay. but he said if there's any kind of birth defect you can go ahead and start getting information and getting in support groups or whatever to help you manage whatever uh -huh. but, oh wow everything came out good he was, yeah. he was really excited of course you know you kind of wonder how excited that a doctor could really be but he sounded so excited <laughs> i think he just was that kind of guy he's a really good doctor good bedside manner <laughs> and i just have to tell you this 
because I think it's funny, but when when Jennifer was 12, I think, is that when I had the hysterectomy? Yeah, yeah. Was, I had to have a hysterectomy and the same doctor did the surgery. So she had, Jennifer had written him a letter, you know, asking him to please be careful and take care of me and all this stuff. And I can't remember what else, but he, did you put it in my bed or did you hand it? I, Oh, I don't know. But anyway, he got it and he thought that was really funny and sweet. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. neat. That's cool. Yeah. So Jennifer's <clears throat> not quite a year here, but this is um, our family after she came along. And then this was from mom and dad's 25th wedding anniversary, uh, 50th wedding anniversary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Look at, look at these. Look at these. Beverly. There's Beverly. Mm -hmm. And there's Aunt Jen. Mm -hmm. And of course, Uncle Trude. Yeah. There's Dad. Mm -hmm. Who's this here? Is that someone we know? It's... Are you asking about her? On mm -hmm. the far left there. Oh, that's just, that's a friend of mine that we went to church with. Oh, okay. All her right. name's Sammy. Yeah, you're... Uh... I know uh, Dad and and uh, Bill were were very close, very yeah. close. Yes, they uh, were. I, I I remember stories about when Bill had the uh, restaurant in Wood River. Uh huh. And I remember uh, uh, Dad, Mom, and Dad talking about getting phone calls uh, out just just out of the blue, calling for help, wanting Dad to come down and help him at the restaurant. At the restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. And then didn't your mom make the pies or? I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> I, I was thinking I heard that, that she, I don't know if she always did it or sometimes, but she, uh, uh, I remember she baked uh, pies uh, for a restaurant in Upper Alton in the 50s. Uh huh. Uh, I can remember, clearly remember waking up at home on uh, uh, mornings and smelling those uh, pies, freshly baked oh. pies uh, in the house. That was a good smell. Huh? I was, sure was. Yep. All right. And then this is just some pictures of holidays and vacations. This was Father's Day with the mom and dad's four grandchildren. Good, good. Wow. Great. Oh, oh, yes. Is this oh and grandmother's what? Oh, yes. So Van, this year, I think this was the year, and maybe there's more years, Van would always be asleep with yeah. his pictures, but we, we would go to his mother's, and he would be asleep with her pictures, and I guess he got up too early, and then he was ready for bed, so he just slept. <laughs> <laughs> and then I liked mom's bunny ears here. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this was Jacqueline and Matt's wedding. They got married in 2007. And your dad uh, married him? Yes, he did. And here's Matt. Your, your dad your dad married a lot of people in this family. He did. He yeah. did. I know he married Olivia and I. Uh-huh. That's too. He and got with my dad. Tom and Rita. Dad. Joyce and... Joyce and Bill? Did he marry Ron and Kathy? Did he marry y'all? Yeah, he did. Okay. I knew he was there. I was thinking he did. Married to me too. Yeah. Married to Aaron and Cindy. Or was that Adam? Well, he, got mixed up. he called he called Aaron Adam. I thought Adam, <laughs> we thought Adam was gonna come. I mean, he just laughed so hard. And I mean, we, we knew that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, dad was having problems with his back. And when the wedding started, he was standing upright. But by the time it was near the end, he was really leaned over from the waist over. But he grinned through the whole Are thing. Are you talking about your daddy? Uh-huh. At Jacqueline and Matt's wedding? See, there you are, Mom. 
And this is Mike, when Mike and Tanya got married in 2008. He married them too. <laughs> <laughs> and then the grand, the great grandchildren. Um, this is Lexi, who is now seven. Uh, Janet, uh huh. I've been think, I've been thinking about Lexi. You have. And I saw a baby picture of, of or, you know, a toddler picture of Billy Ray. She has Billy Ray's ears. Oh, Layla. She has ones? Layla. She has she has parish ears. Well, <laughs> yes, the, the baby, the baby, not, uh -huh. not Lexi. You're right, the baby. Yes. Well, we we kind of wondered, right, Jacqueline? If you we, want me to, I'll pull out I'll pull out his picture and uh, send it to you. Yeah, send it to me. Yeah. I will. Good. He's a parish. <laughs> this picture was taken on Easter Sunday, 2014, a little less than three weeks before Dad passed away. Um, he the, the night Lexi was born, he stayed up until she was born. She was born. What time was she born, Jacqueline? In the sorry, Layla was talking. Do what? what what time was Lexi born it was like three in the morning okay yeah he he had to have reports you know every hour or so um and then once she was born he went to bed oh. <laughs> she's so cute <laughs> <laughs> and then Layla both uh, of them. Danelda, you're saying these are parish ears? Yes. I hope I don't discon well, I don't I don't do the phone really well, but I'll send y'all a picture of Billy Ray. She's got Billy Ray's ears. Well, she's also <laughs> got on our, our family, my son's oldest daughter, Ab Abigail, beautiful girl. Always wears long hair. Because not only do hers go like this, they're pointed. And we used to call her Spot. Oh. You know, she, looked like a, she looked like a little alien, but oh. we loved those ears. Yes. I'm telling you. We still love them. They're mm -hmm. precious. I don't she, think you She was teensy tiny and she was, you know, just so small. I noticed them. I don't notice them anymore. Well, Billy Ray, you know, of course, they, they had the buzz cut way back when. Yeah. And I was, I was looking at him the other day. I was looking at some pictures that I didn't put in the the Leslie Parish presentation, and that was one of them. So uh, I'll yeah. share that. Yes. Well, yeah. Send that to me. I'd like to. I'll pass it on to Jacqueline. Yeah. <laughs> and uh -oh. um, Van's son uh, has two children. Jordan, who's nineteen, so Jennifer became an aunt at two. And then Grace, <laughs> Grace turned 13. Um, so this was probably our first picture of all four grandchildren together, but it may not have been. Uh, last year, mom was in the hospital in January when she was living at Saddlebrook and she, you know, had was going through therapy and everything and starting to improve. And so we got um, a photographer come to come and do uh, the four generation pictures. So this was taken last, I think it was June of last year. And the picture, the two girls was playing with their father. <laughs> <laughs> Very well <laughs> to me. <laughs> oh. They're lots of fun. Mm -hmm. Layla will be two in on Van's birthday, which is October 29th in she amazes us with her repertoire of songs. She's Lexi plays the piano and she's she sings, but Layla's repertoire is huge for her age. Mm. And Jacqueline sent me a video of her last night where she was counting backwards um, from oh. five, but um, still, yeah, she. Uh, I think she's gonna probably pass kindergarten before she makes it. <laughs> And Lexi's a second grader 
and is not zoned for the school I work with, but at work at, but she's able to come there because um, of me working for the school. Of system. you, yes. Uh, uh, Jan Janet, you know, we got a 10 hour limitation on these. Yeah, well, look, you said <laughs> 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 oh, I just happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. That was very, very was good, good, Janet. Very, very good. Well, thank very you. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Yeah. Couldn't have done it without her. Since fourth grade, now you can tell the difference, can't you? <laughs> you know what? Thanks for having your name up this whole time, Jacqueline, so we know you're there. <laughs> Janet. Well, Jack Jacqueline's the one who actually taught taught her how to use it because they had to do this. PowerPoint presentation and she didn't know how to do it. And so Jacqueline came over and taught her. So was it grade. Jacqueline from the fourth grade? Or Jack Jen Jennifer was in fourth grade when she had to do a PowerPoint. Oh, oh I see. And Jacqueline showed Jacqueline her how to do it. came over and helped because she knew I wouldn't know. <laughs> okay. All right. You know, Janet, it really helped me understand your family because you have these older kids and then these little kids. And I tell you, I never knew who was who. I thought, oh. now is Jennifer. Janet's girl, or is that Jacqueline's little girl? Well, or, who are these? So I, but you don't know how to ask. How do you say, yeah. well, is that your daughter or your granddaughter? <laughs> so, well, when Jennifer was born, Jacqueline was 15 and a half. And for the first year of Jennifer's life, she would not carry her in public because she <laughs> was her daughter. Yeah, after, yeah. After Jennifer could walk, I guess she decided, well, she might as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, Grandpa Chuck, when we went to Grandpa Chuck's funeral, um, somebody asked us or said four generations, and I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Lexi was, or uh, Jennifer was like two. Jennifer was like two at the time, I think, right? I was four. You were four? Okay. <laughs> well, my sister was 15 years younger than me, my youngest sister. And Dell and I used to take her out all the time. And she'd go on dates with us. She stayed with I just thought it was the coolest thing on earth to run around with this little kid. Yeah, and I know, I know people thought that and she was our, was our our ours. child. Of course we and, thought that was cool. Yeah, yeah, we thought that was cool, you know. Well, <laughs> me. Oh. Well, Janet, that's very good. That was very good. That's that that that's, I enjoyed that's it. a perp that's a great example of what I was hoping to 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 see in these uh well and all the presentations have been very good yeah Get, getting yeah. to see pictures that that otherwise uh uh i would have never seen uh-huh and uh too bad jennifer yeah, and if, <laughs> and if tom, tom is 18 years pictures. older than me tom is 18 years older than you jimmy oh well, my yeah brother, my brother's 19 years older than me <laughs> All well, right. My brother's 20 years older than me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is he the one that broke the camera? Yeah. Yeah. I do. Uh, yeah, the camera just the camera just broke before uh, me. That's all I'm that's all I know. The camera <laughs> just broke. Okay, okay. We at the at our last meeting, we decided that we would uh have one of these every three months. Uh do you still want to do that? It might be just us. Yeah. Just a little bit it, here. It, apparently, uh, we're not going to be able to get the young people uh, involved. Well, we can we, try one more time. I had can, two kids that wanted to join. Yeah. Well, and, and both of our kids said they would participate, but they did a couple of times. Yeah. But yeah, uh, they did. Obviously, it's yeah. not a priority. As you can see, they're not on this call. So, uh, but I think it's nice to just, we don't have to do presentation, even if it's just a half an hour of hi, how are you, what's happening, whatever. Yeah, health updates. Yeah, updates. Health updates, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I love it. And if we were if we were in the same town, it might be this group that got together to eat. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's Layla. Hi. Hi. There's that kid. Hi. 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 <laughs> Tell her. Hi, Hi, Layla. She does look like Hi, Layla. Mm -hmm. Hi, Layla. You got your iPad? Look at all these people. These are your cousins. Except Say hi, cousins. <laughs> Say hi, cousins. Hi, Layla. 
<laughs> well, if we're going to do every three months, uh, three months from tonight would be uh, December 26th. What about we do December 19th, the week before Christmas? How does that sound? Awesome. That'd be, that'd be Sunday. Mm -hmm. Sunday the, I think I got the date right here. Sunday the 19th which would be the Sunday yeah. before Christmas. Uh, and, and we'll give it another shot here. Sounds good. Um, you want to just, just do a, just do a, a gathering where we just say hi and yeah. uh, talk about uh, Since status of our health or whatever. <laughs> Since it's, uh, Christmas, yeah. it's Christmas, could we all maybe share a Christmas memory that we had from whether it be from recent years? There or you That's an idea. That's a good idea. From childhood or, or something that happened after we were adults. Right. How about how about how about a a, a favorite <laughs> family family Christmas memory? Sounds good. Mm-hmm. Look at Jimmy's out there in outer space. <laughs> Mom, look at Jimmy. He's in outer space. He's been in outer space for a long time. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. All right. So December 19th, 8 p.m., same old time. All right, anybody got I anything wanna, else? I want to share something with you just a second. When... <clears throat> Tom, after Tom retired and he drove for Senior Services Plus with all the old people, foster grandparents and all this, he had over 50 pair of different colored tennis shoes that he wore. He got his ear pierced. His earring, his shirt and shoes had to match every morning before he left. At his service, I don't know if you've met Andre or not, our pastor now, Dale. But anyway, when he got up, he said, well, Rita, when I got started getting dressed this morning, I thought, I've got a red tie. I've got red tennis shoes, but I don't have a red earring. Well, this week I went to a yard sale and I found a pair of clip-on red earrings. <laughs> <laughs> and I wrote I put one on the top of this little paper I put one red earring and at the bottom I put another the other earring and I put one extra red earring and I wrote up from Tom I put it in a little jewelry box and I handed it to him this morning at church and he opened it <laughs> <laughs> and he got his laugh. <laughs> That's, cool. That's what Tom was known for, his earrings and shoes. And um, awesome. he had a lot of fun with that this last year. Um he uh he he was really special with those old people and with little kids he even had a puppet that he played with with little kids oh, right. he taught ronnie and kathy's little girl hannah how to drop her food on the floor if it fell out of her mouth pick it up and blow on it and put it back in her <laughs> yeah. and uh and jimmy was quite humorous he was going to tell about I don't know if you ever saw the wooden school bus that Anna Marie had. It had little people in it. Two of them were black. And Hannah was about two and Tom got down the floor with her and he says, now Hannah, when you play with this, these two people either have to go in the very back seat <laughs> or the very front seat. And I thought we thought Kathy was going to come unglued teaching <laughs> her precious daughter about these kinds of things. And uh, Jimmy was tempted to tell the story, but then he said, no, he couldn't. <laughs> you know, there were several stories he tried to tell, but he just had to back down. He just couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> but he did tell how when Tom came home from the Navy, Tom forgot that Jimmy was even born. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he brought everybody a gift except Jim. 
Jim and, said you and, told that story more than once. <laughs> you what? I said Jim has told that story 15, yes. 20 and times. Once, once Jimmy grew up and he heard the story, he razzed Tom every time he was with him about how he forgot about him. <laughs> and what did you finally get out of that, Jimmy? Numerous games at the St. Louis Cardinal all-inclusive green seats right behind home plate. <laughs> <laughs> so they had they had some fun together those last last couple of years. Yeah. By the way, they've won 16 games in a row, just you know, for all you say. Just saying. This year? They yeah. won a lot of games in a row. Oh. Well, the Colts have lost three in a row. So, uh, what, is, what are you going to say? And we've yet to win a game this year. As a matter of fact, Tennessee beat us today. So, uh, Whoa. Oh. It's Whoa. Even, that hurts even more. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, we went just a tad longer tonight uh, than normal, but uh, that's okay. It's been good. That yeah, was a, this was a, this was a good meeting. Good meeting. Well, nice job, yeah. Janet. Very nice. So, uh, Jennifer, you too, Jacqueline, I guess. <laughs> I'll, get, <laughs> I'll get this, uh, I'll get this downloaded and, uh, and uh, email the link out. So we'll see y'all again, okay. uh, December 19th at 8 PM, your favorite family Christmas memory. All right. Okay. All right. Love y'all. Bye, everybody. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.